welcome back to What The Face Glitch here and uh, today I'm going to be using a Mr. Warlock uh, Cool Menthol. Um, this uh, particular shaving soap has, has eucalyptus in it and if you didn't know that, now you do. Uh, the reason why I'm using this today is because I received a letter, I received a package from uh, Captain's Choice and uh, I have uh, been requested to do a, a review, a usage on their eucalyptus. It's brand new. Uh, this is an aftershave that you can get right now. Um, but the actual shaving soap isn't available yet. So uh, that's why I'm picking Mr. Warlock. We'll see how it compares. And uh, I'm going to, I might as well just show you the brush I'm going to be using too. Uh, the brush, <laughs> I'm going to be picking this, this is a Frank Shea brush, it is a 28 millimeter knot, and I believe it's a bore, yes, so, um, uh, no, I don't think it's a bore, this is synthetic, I believe, you know what, I don't know, that's the truth, I don't know, but that's what it is anyway, 28 millimeter, so, with that all said, um, let's uh, do a bowl lather and bring, uh, bring it to the face and talk about the results and then we'll use the eucalyptus. Stay tuned, don't go away. Okay, so as you can see the bowl is empty. I talked to Alfred about these bowls and about the um, brushes and uh, he showed me pictures that he is uh, almost, you know, he's, he's getting them done. He's doing as many as he can, right? You know, with the time allotted that he has. So, uh, if you're listening, Alfred, thank you very much. And uh, we're really, we're really waiting on them. So, um, uh, thank you for that, Alfred. Um, so we're gonna put some of this. This is the soap that we're gonna be using, and we're gonna be putting that right in here. It's the the texture of the soap is very soft so you can just like place it in there oh man the eucalyptus I use on this is uh, just for the, I, I like it's a special you it's not like a, I've gone through I, I went through a lot of eucalyptus oils to pick the one I wanted from Mr. Warlock because they don't all smell the same so this one happened to be a little bit more expensive than the others and uh, I uh, chose this one and I'm glad I did because a lot of people a lot of people like it uh, if you don't know the story behind Mr. Warlock when I a few years ago when I came out with it um, it was a seasonal uh, a seasonal shaving soap and people were just asking for it during the summer months, they were asking for it for every day, so another year went by and when I released it for that following holiday season, I uh, just continued to make it during the year and never stopped. So um, there you go, that's the story. Uh, so here is the, um, the brush, and this one, uh, something about this brush, so you know, it absorbs a lot of lather, so you may not see it in the bowl, but it will be all in. It will be all in here. So let's uh, let's get this going. All right. Well, let's just put some water in the bowl. If I need some, do put more water in the bowl. I will. And uh, let's. I'm gonna put a little more water in the brush before I start. And now. Now I'm going to do the lather. So here we go. I'm going to start off a little slow. And as you can see, as you can see, look at the look at the bra. Look at that. There's nothing in there, right? But when you, it's all in here. It's all in here. <laughs> and I'm going to just put a little more water there. A 
Yes. This is going to be like painting your face white with lather. Whoa. This is incredible. All right. So let's bring this to the face and uh, do the rest of the shave. Okay, so I have about uh, six days growth, so let me uh, wet the face. All right. Here is the brush with all the lather in it. Let's apply it. Here we go. It's amazing. Not only is this, if this brush is fun to use, but just look at this. It's amazing. And I get that mental feeling, the eucalyptus is out. Oh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful product. I really, I really do enjoy using this. There you go. This is good enough for about 10 more passes. <laughs> So here we have the Occam's razor. You didn't think I wasn't going to use that, did you? <laughs> and let's do the shave. I saw something weird on Netflix. It was called, uh, it was something to do with um, people who have, I think it was Netflix. Anyway, uh, uh, it was about LSD and celebrities who have actually taken LSD and you will not believe all the people that come up and said oh yeah well you know like here's how my experience was they would they were actually um, talking about mushrooms and all kinds of uh, psychedelic drugs it, it was pretty it was pretty enlightening and a lot of them had experiences that changed their life you know uh, it opened their it, it like changed the meaning of life for them You know, I don't know. I mean, I know what they're doing now is, I think there's studies being done to help like people that are depressed or have anxiety. It was kind of weird, but it was fun to listen to the, the celebrities talk about their crazy, crazy stories. You won't believe some of the people. Some you'll say, yeah, I, I, I get that. You know, I knew this guy was going to be. And others you're like, what? This guy? But I'll let you experience that. I'll put the name of it in the flashing on the screen, if I didn't already. And then there was another kind of show which dealt with it had Chris Hamsley. Chris Hamsley, I think the guy who does I don't know if it's Chris they all look the, kind of the same, the brothers um, but uh, he was uh, he was the head of a, a corporation that was doing tests 
with prisoners and he made their lives very comfortable but the tests that they have to take were crazy and it was all about the effects on the drugs he, they were producing like one would make you happy one would make you fall in love one would you know it was a crazy and I I don't want to give out anything but it was it was okay it was a good good premise you know and uh, execution was good I mean if you have an hour and a half to kill it's a good one All right. You know what I saw this morning? I saw uh, one of our users, his name is Angelo. He was doing a shave, he had some, um, he had a really nice um, re Gillette razor and I can't remember what it is with him but he was using this great cologne that uh, they stopped producing uh, and it was a, a it was quite interesting what he was talking about you should check him out uh, he did a uh, it was a it was early in the morning but uh, it was um, it was a oh, what was it um, live stream that's the word I'm trying to trying to say it was a live stream so I, I caught it and I got right on um, so here is the bottle of eucalyptus and I'm gonna wet my face here just to I can still when I wet my face I can still feel the slickness get rejuvenated and also I get the menthol kick again with the eucalyptus very nice very nice so I have this eucalyptus uh, I have this uh, captain's choice eucalyptus right here we're gonna I'm just gonna shake it and now I'm going to apply it. it has a reducer right there so I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hand oh. oh nice okay so I get I get the eucalyptus right away it's not the same eucalyptus that I'm using in my shaving soap but now after a minute has gone by or 30 seconds I'm getting the dry down as spearmint and <laughs> I like that I like the spearmint wow that's a surprise it goes from eucalyptus to spearmint in about a minute. Woo, very nice. Great job, Captain. <laughs> good, good job. So I had a great shave and uh, Captain's Choice Eucalyptus, another great aftershave from them. Uh, I hope you guys have a great shave too and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.